Here you can see a rotation action on a block which we've previously studied. In this class, you'll learn about more possibilities for applying this action. For example, the application of angular rotation constraints and different ways to rotate a block. Let's start by talking about rotation constraints on a block. Open the block in the block editor and select the rotation parameter. Then type properties to open the entity property palette. Value set is one of the options on the property palette and there you'll see some possible settings for blocks. The ang type option enables any angular rotation setting when none is selected. When none is applied, you can specify minimum and maximum angles for rotation. Increment is another option you can choose for rotation angle input. Specify the increment value for this option to define the minimum and maximum angle of the rotation variation. Last is the list option and this makes it possible to create a list of rotation angles. This list is created in the ang value list item. Select this field and a reticence button will be displayed. Click it and an add angle value dialog box opens. Here in the angle to add option, you input the registered values. You can insert more than one value at a time. Just use a comma to separate the values. Click Add after inserting all the required values. See how the box lists all the registered values. Click OK to confirm the input settings. Then whenever you select the block and click the rotation grip, a marker will display all possible positions for the block. Let's test the block using the list option. Register all desired angle values. Confirm the dialog box and then click Test Block. Select the block, click and drag the rotation grip. Notice how the block does not rotate freely. It is constrained by the registered values from the previously created list. Notice also that when a grip is selected, a message will be displayed requesting the insertion of a value for block rotation. Next to the message, there is a marker to show there are more available options. Press the down arrow key to access these options. Base point is the first displayed item on the list that enables the selection of a base point on the screen to rotate the block. See how when you select a block point the rotation is different from rotation grip. Click the Undo option to undo the previous block rotation. The Exit option disables the grip. So in this class you've learned how to constrain block rotation when it contains a registered block rotate action. You also learned how to modify the rotation base point.